welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree haul for this Shop With Me Sunday. And I'm going to show you some goodies that I picked up that kind of have to do with Valentine's Day um, and some stuff that I want in the giveaway and just some things that I needed around the house. So I'm going to start first with the Valentine's things that I got. And I wanted to buy some stuff for my daughter for her class. And also, like you guys know, I work at a school and I am a pre-K aide for two classes. I bounce between two classes. So I wanted to get something for my little pre cares as well. So in Dollar Tree, they brought out, they always have candy for the different holidays, but this year's Valentine's candy, I have to say, was pretty amazing and I got excited. So I bought like two different kinds um, for my daughter's class and my pre-cares that I kind of want to put in a bag. So let me start off and show you the first one. These are the called the Tiger Pops and they come 22 lollipops to a bag and it's basically like heart lollipops and I've tried this before. This is the strawberry and cream flavor. And it tastes really, really good. And I like the fact that it came 22 to a bag because most classes have the most, at the most is 22 kids, hopefully the most. And so this one bag could cover a class. And kids love lollipops. So I got um, a bag for, like I said, I got a bag for my daughter's class and my pre-K class. But I also bought three extra bags because sometimes um, when I do like cafeteria duty or when I do anything um, and the kids, I have some kids, outstanding kids that are wonderful all the time and I like to praise the ones that are doing good as opposed to always getting onto the ones that are not and so I like to give them little lollipops and so um these are perfect they're small it's just a little bit of candy not too much so I thought these were perfect so I got these another candy that I found that I'm going to put in the little baggies as well is these candy bracelets and they come 10 to a pack which you know I wish they would have came like the 22 to a pack like the lollipops but it came 10 to a pack so I got these because I remember growing up I used to love these and I love the bracelets and stuff and it's uh, so cool that they're like jewelry but then you get to eat it so I bought these and the lollipops will go in little baggies um, for uh, the classes and for the baggies I found these and then they have different baggies that at the end of this video I'll show you I took pictures of the other bags that I didn't purchase but I like this one they had like uh, two little monsters and um, it says happy Valentine's Day and I liked it because like I always sit, see you know my kids are like my little monsters you know and so I thought this one was cute but they had other um, uh, uh, bro, other themes as well for bags but I got these so like I said the lollipop and the brace is gonna go in there I don't know if I'll pick up something else to go in there I might I, you know I, I'm a giver and I, especially to my little ones and my babies and to the classes so I might if I find like maybe some rings or some uh, bracers or something like that that I feel they'll, they'll like I'll probably add it to the bag but so far I just have the lollipops and the bracelets going in these little bags for the kids now there were some other candies in there that I really liked but they didn't come like 10 to a bag or 22 to a bag so I didn't necessarily want to get them for the classrooms and stuff like that but I did want to buy them for my daughter's Valentine's baskets so the first one that I saw that I thought was so cute is called the kissy lip pops and they come four um, they come four mini packs so I think I got I think I only got one bag because I'm gonna basically give them each to each so um, I got these for their Valentine's um, ba um, baskets because just like Easter baskets I like to make my daughters like Valentine baskets or you know something for Valentine's Day so they wake up they have something for Valentine's Day so I'm gonna put this in their Valentine basket or I don't know exactly what yet I'm gonna make it sometimes I like last year my my oldest she was into like hats so I kind of filled her like I got her a you know those baseball hats and I filled that up with the treat so I might find like a purse something depending on what they like and fill that up instead of a basket because they can get tired of baskets but anyways this one is gonna go uh, two of these is gonna go in each of their baskets or whatever that's gonna be and then I also found these um, they're called the popping candy with lollipops and it comes three to a pack so I got two of these so that uh, each of my girls can have one each and they love these little pop candies um they i mean the, the little pop rocks and stuff that they get excited with these so this one i think it's uh it's a candy it has the like the the red i mean the red the um the heart lollipops that i showed you in the bag they have the each uh, lollipop comes in each bag but then they can dip it in the popping candy so i got that for them as well and then another thing that i saw that it comes eight to a pack which i could have split this box up um, between my two girls, but I got them a box each. Um, it's basically, it says the eight classroom exchange packs and it's the sour dipping sticks with sour powder and it's the warheads. And my girls love warheads, like warheads, anything, any candy. And they also love the dipping sticks. So this basically took the two candies that they love in, and put it together in one. So I got them each a box, but again, the, it comes eight to a pack, which like I said, um, it's not enough that I would buy this for a classroom um, because it's only eight. 
um, and some parents don't like that you know this sour stuff and some of these kids you know they can't have the sour stuff so I wouldn't buy this for a classroom but for my girls I know they can have it and so I bought these for my girls a box each for them um, just so they can have eight so another thing that I got that I'm gonna put in their Valentine's basket is um, Valentine's socks my daughters love socks they're like so into like the fashion socks and they're so into like the style now where you mix match socks which I cannot stand because I want socks to be matched but like if you notice any of the kids nowadays and even some adults are doing it they're like mixed matching socks which is crazy but they do love socks they love different pattern socks so um Dollar Tree always has socks that go with the season so I got them some Valentine socks I didn't find any yet for my older one because she kind of wears the same size as women so I had to look for some more for her but for my little one I got these two I got this one that's kind of like um ankle socks pattern and I believe she had these last year um but um I cannot find them anymore and she's gotten up a size so I just got these again she loves pink so anything with pink you know she can always wear it and then I also got a, these um ones that have like the candy hearts on them and I think these are like longer like where they'll fit higher so like the stylish socks but they got the little um you know like I said the candy hearts the conversational hearts on them which I thought were real cute and at the end I did take a picture of the whole rack so that you guys can see all the different varieties and you'll see that at the end of this video the things that I didn't buy another thing that I got for their Valentine's baskets is these little night lights I thought they were so cute and instead of giving it to them now I thought I would give it to them um, with their baskets but they had these two and they also had a different another saying and I actually um took a picture again and you'll see that at the end but um I my girls they, they cannot sleep in the dark and even me I don't like to sleep in the dark so I like to get them night lights and I cannot find what happened to the other night lights so this came at a perfect time but I got this one for my littlest one because her room is the pink room and this one says it's the little things and so I liked that one for her room and then for my oldest her room is like the blue room and I got her this one that says always let your true colors shine bright and I liked it because not only is it blue but I figured like she's in middle school now and she's always been the type to um, hold her own and hold her true you know convictions and her values I've never had to worry about her but it's getting kind of hard when they're in middle school and they're tempted and all, with all these different things and these kids know things that they're not supposed to know and it's really hard for her to stay true to what she is she does it but and I'm very proud of her but um, I always want to make sure that give her sayings to let her know to always uh, remember who you are and it's okay to be who you are and don't worry about if some other people don't uh, agree with you you know you stay true to yourself another thing that I found in the Valentine's section that I decided to purchase because I feel like it will not only you can use it for Valentine's Day but I feel like it's great um, room decor and room, uh, room organization they could be used all year round and it's these little boxes um, that say love on them and they actually have two different sizes this one's the larger one and then this one's the smaller one um, so I got uh, one of each and um, basically I did like I said I have pictures of the things I didn't buy so I did take a picture of all the different varieties that they have and the mailboxes I didn't get no mailbox but of all that so that you guys could see it but I thought this was so cute because I feel, like I said I feel like you can you can use this past Valentine's Day because people love this love decor and I've seen this at Ross and I've seen this at Eddie's discount where stuff is cheaper than the home goods stores. And I've seen this for like five or ten dollars. And this was a dollar. So it's a, it has like the little Velcro and um, that you can easily snap open and close. And it's like purple with hearts all around it. That's how the bottom looks. And then the top says love. And so you can um, the girls can use it to put any little trinkets in there, little notes, any little uh um, if they're organizing like uh, post-its you can use on your office and organize your office supply stuff it's cute and so I got the the large one and the small one and I think I'm gonna let my daughters choose which one they want um, if you guys want this in a next in a coming giveaway let me know and I'll get some if you guys can't find it so I can put in an upcoming giveaway because I like I said I feel like this can last all year round it's not just for Valentine's Day so I thought this was really cute to get for them not only for Valentine's Day but for room decor another thing that I got in the Valentine's section which is gonna go uh, with my um, Valentine's Day theme um, learning activities that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys are these table scatters I've had these before with the the games that I'm gonna show you on how to help your kids count in the upcoming video I already have a couple of these but I decided to get um, an extra pack because um, I don't know if my daughter because um, I haven't been through the basket in a while because like I said when I used to do preschool learning with my daughter when she was younger It's been a while so I don't know if she's lost a lot of these because she took them out and wanted to play with them So I just got an extra pack just so I can have them But these are great for they basically sell them for like decorating But these are great for learning activities for to you know to count with and I will show you an upcoming video 
and um, also different sensory activities. So um, stay tuned to my, uh, you know, my Thinking Thursday video where I'll be doing a Valentine's theme where I'll be showing you guys what I'm going to do with these. And also for my Thinking Thursday video, I'm going to do a sensory activity that I'm going to show you as well. And I got these cups for them. And these cups I thought were so cute because they had the red ones, which I'm not sure if I took a picture of it, but they had, you know, just regular red ones that had the Valentine's Day and stuff on it, which you always see. But I love this one because again, I feel like you could use this all year round. It has the the teal blue and the and the pink, which I love if you, you know, my, my basically my craft room is decorated in these colors. And it says, it just says love. So I feel, I figured, I figured you can, like I said, you can use this all year round, but I'm going to use this for an upcoming sensory activity with the Valentine's twist to it. So stay tuned to that video for a thinking Thursday. Another thing that I found, and I'm not sure if it's because Valentine's Day came out because it, it kind of goes with the Valentine's Day colors, but I found these scented candles and I'm not sure, like I said, I don't know if they brought it out now or if they've been there, but I haven't seen them before. And this one is in, uh, this one's called Paradise Love. And this one is called Gypsy Bay. And I went kind of overboard with these candles. I bought nine of them. I thought I bought eight, but I guess I, I kept one. Um, but I went and I, I bought, well, I bought nine of them because I bought two for me, two to get to, two to give as a gift for my mom. Uh, and then I wanted to have uh, two for a uh, giveaway and then I wanted to have like two just to have on hand for gifts You guys know if you see my other Dollar Tree hauls whenever Dollar Tree has some beautiful decor beautiful candles And uh, or you know inspirational sayings I like to stock up on those things and use them as gifts to people because I like to give gifts to people year-round um, Not only on their birthdays just like sometimes that my co-workers or my friends if they're feeling down I like to give them inspirational things and just let them know I'm thinking of them But these candles I fell in love with I thought they were great as gifts they actually do smell amazing, and but I'm kind of like, mm, they smell good. I'm kind of like on the fence about um, Dollar Tree candles because sometimes they don't have a good throw depending on what you buy. But then I went to someone's house one day and they bought that caramel, salted caramel one. And I mean, that throw was like, it smelled good all day. So it's like a hit or miss with um, Dollar Tree candles. But the reason why I got this one is even if the throw isn't so like great even though it smells real good right now um i love the jar and if you go anywhere like hobby lobby or michael's where you purchase these jars to do a diy or organize or make a gift out of it this this little jar could be like three to five dollars and no lie and it's very sturdy it's, it's a it's not like a, a flimsy glass it's a very sturdy glass and this they have the plastic um the plastic cover in here so it seals it very nice so i bought these because i figured they would make great gifts but also when I go uh, this coming Christmas, I like to give like different like um, um, like gifts as far as like DIY salt, like DIY peppermint um, bath salts. And I thought this would be the perfect container to house the bath salts when I give them as gifts. So again, I don't know if the throw is going to be good. They do smell amazing. I'm not going to lie. They do smell amazing. I wish they would bring like a blue one. And this one, this one sells real good too. I wish they would bring a blue one because it'll go with my decor. But again, these are so pretty. The jars themselves are like gorgeous. So even if like the throw is not that great, the jar itself for a dollar is amazing. So like I said, I went a little crazy. I bought nine, but I'm gonna give some to my mom as a gift, keep some for myself, and then I'm gonna have some for you guys as a giveaway that's coming up soon, and just some to have on hand in my gift, uh, in my gift drawers in my craft room. So another thing I got was a bunch of notebooks and I like to buy the different notebooks that have the inspirational sayings on them because again I like to have them on hand as gifts to give you know a cork or a friend like to pick you know to brighten their spirits some day you know like if they're having a bad day to give them a little gift to brighten up their spirits. Um, I love to organize so I figure you know having notebooks are always great to have because you can always make you know jot down your notes. I'm one of those people if I don't write it down I'm going to forget it and so I would love to give a gift of organization and inspiration. So this one says it's a good day for a good day and I love the pattern on it um, and I love the inspirational quote to always you know make make a day great if, especially even if you're having a bad day and it's a hard cover so I love the ones that have the hard cover because you can have it in your purse or your book bag or anything and it'll protect the papers the next notebooks that I found were I actually got five I think there were like five different patterns or there were more patterns but I got five that I liked let me like put it up here but yeah I got these five different patterns and what I like about these notebooks is not only do they have a hard cover like the one I showed you, it has like a really hard cover, but they also have this elastic band on it that um, you you know you remove it to open up the, the, the book, but then when you're done, you can put the elastic band over it and it protects it to not open it up like to mess up so you don't mess up the pages. So I love these little books for a dollar. Um, I like to have 
Uh, even though I have a planner that I'm um, going to show you guys soon, I like to have a notebook because sometimes, especially for my YouTube, I like to jot down ideas of what I want to do or jot down ideas of what I'm doing in my house and I want to like kind of sketch out my notes first before I put it in my planner. So I always like to have a notebook so I think these are great. Um, and so, and then the writing, the, let me see. And then it gives you enough room so if some people they write big, you know, and they don't write small so it gives you enough space to write neatly in it. So this one is the one that says all for love and it has the birds on it which is really cute. And then this one I like it says enjoy the little things which is also an inspirational quote that like if I want to give this as a gift to a friend this is perfect. But it also reminds me to stop what I'm doing when I get too busy and I'm um, trying to do too much I need to stop and focus and enjoy the little things. This one just says notes but I like the colors on it because it reminds me of the colors that I have downstairs in my um, uh, living room and kitchen. This one says love and it has it's like a chalkboard. Um, looking one so this is like great for teachers as well I think this would be a great I might go back and pick up another one because this would be great for back to school whenever I do I make back to school baskets and I like to put all like teacher things in it and I think this one would be great for back to school for teachers because it looks like a teacher's chalkboard so that's cute and then this one I love the colors on it and it just says notes as well and again all these have the elastic band and they're hard so this is really cool Another thing I picked up was some sticker books and I love getting these sticker books right here because they're like 250 stickers to a pack and my little ones, my little pre uh, my pre cares they love to get stickers so whenever they're doing what they're, you know, uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing and they're um, listening, um, I always get them a sticker at the end of the day and they get to choose their different stickers and I love these because all of these are the sparkle stickers and my kids, even the boys, they all love sparkle. Like this one's the princess one so it has different like sparkly princess sheets and then they also have like when it comes to the sparkle they also have like they have the sparkle but then they have the plain one as well and then I got so that one's the cute princess and I got the cats one and same thing they'll have like the two first pages are sparkle and then they'll have like a plain just colorful one and then the last one I got was the animal world and it looks like that I also have a robot one they have it there too and the sports one but I already bought it so um, I have a sports and a robot one already so I didn't purchase it but they have those there as well this uh, 250 as well another thing that I got in that section in that um, I think it's like the office supply section is I got two more sharpeners because I bought my daughters I've showed you another Dollar Tree hauls the owl um, ones that were so cute and I cannot find them in my house because kids lose everything and when we're doing homework um, I'm trying to teach my youngest to write better and she always like uses the dullest pencil and has the sloppiest handwriting so I'm like okay if you have a sharpened pencil it's even better so I had to get some more sharpeners and you always I always like getting them from Dollar Tree because you get two for a dollar. Another thing that I got in the office supply section is that I'm into doing stuff with my planner now I just got a new planner which I'll be showing you guys and I wanted to get some stamps for it and so I got the just the stamp pads first I got the black and green one. Um, I wish I could have found a blue one, but I don't think they're going to have like a blue one, a nice blue one in Dollar Tree. And then I found these stamps, uh, these self, these self ink stamps, and I'm not sure if I have to open it up, but this one says, be happy. Let me see if I can like, there you go. This one says, be happy. This one just has the hearts like in a border. Let me see. So I don't get the glare on it. And then this one is like, kind of like the, um, like when you're doing like a party, the banner thing. And it says that these are self ink stamps. So let me open it. I wonder if there, that means that the ink is already in it. So I guess we put, yeah, these are, oh yeah. So it's already self ink. It's like it takes the thing off. So I just have to push it down so it already has it. So, um, so I guess all of them come out black, which I mean, I wish it would have been like where I could put different colors, but I mean, having the black will be fine for now. And then with these, I could just like color them in with my pens and stuff. Speaking of pens, um, I got these, I've been lately seeing these and I've been picking up four packs of these every time I go to Dollar Tree because I love these pens. These pens are amazing and they come eight to a pack, eight for a dollar and they have, look at them, they have the most beautiful colors. They have that teal color that everybody loves. They have the pink, the red, a uh, purple, a uh, light green, a uh, black. So I love to color coat things, especially when it comes to my planner and when I'm organizing stuff. And these write so well. Um, they don't bleed like a lot of the other pens do. And they don't write like, you know, when you write with pens, it kind of moves up too much. So you, it makes you 
right sloppy no it, it's very it's like a fine tip and it holds like what however like right now I have a new planner and it's smaller than what I used to have and I was afraid that I'll be able to not be able to write as small to fit in that planner but these pens work great for it so in Dollar Tree if you know if you are a Dollar Tree shopper you know that things come and then things you'll never see them again so I love these pens so much and they're such a great value. You get eight for a dollar that I do not want to not ever find them again. So every time I've been going to Dollar Tree, I just been getting four, four packs every time I see it because that's my thing when I stock up with stuff. Um, I do the rule of four because there's four people in my house. So when I stock up, I stock up in fours. So these pens are great. They're called the Ink Clip Clip Clicks and it's the comfort grip they're easy retractable that's another re reason i like them because they're the retractable pen so you never have to worry about you know you miss losing the lid but these things are amazing i got them from my planner i use them for everything else and i really suggest that you guys buy these if you see them another thing i found at dollar tree at this time and i think it's because they're bringing out all the valentines and easter stuff is the diamond wrap that's six feet and this is the thick one um they're both six feet but they have one that just has i think just the three rows of it but this one has five rows so this is a great buy and i bought four of these because i had to do a project one time and they did not have these in, in like the three dollar trees that i went to so they didn't even have the three row one and i had to go to walmart and i spent i think like two something or three something on the same size that i would have spent a dollar for so i went out there and i got four because i when i need them they don't have it and so i wanted to stock up on it so if you guys like this diamond wrap you should go now because they have them out now with all the Easter and Valentine stuff. So the last two things that I'm going to show you guys that I bought have to do with like owls. And you know that Dollar Tree is bringing out all these cute little owl things that they got me into owls. And if you've seen at my, um, for what my daughter's got like on Christmas Day when we were opening gifts, you saw that I got my girls the, the little owl lotions and the little owl lip gloss, which they loved. And so I, when I saw these, I got so excited and they are the owl hand soaps. And they look just like the little owl lip gloss and lotions that was so hard to find. And I still haven't found any more of those. But I got these three and I got it's the purple, the blue, and the pink. But they also had a green one. But I didn't pick that one up because um, this white part right here, when you do pick these up, watch out for these white parts because it was all scratched up. And then the other one, the top, this part, this top part right here was popped open. So I was like, no, I'm not going to purchase something that looks like someone already opened. So um, I, I might go back and get the green. I really don't need it. So I might get it for a giveaway if you guys want it. Um, but I saw these and I thought they were so cute. So they had the purple one, which I'm going to give to my older daughter. They have the pink one, the pink one, which I'm going to give to my... Oh. Let me switch. Yeah. That we get to my youngest daughter, and then I'm gonna keep the blue one. And these are basically they have hand they have hand soap in them, but I'm not gonna use them for hand soap uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because when I purchased it and I saw that it was kind of scratched up, I see that it can easily get scratched up, especially if water is with it, and so I don't want to mess this thing up. So um, I'm probably gonna use this. I'm gonna take the hand soap out, put it in another container, and use this for lotion for my girls and me, so that after. Um, we could probably put the hand lotions in there or um, for my daughters, like for their body lotions uh, when they get out the shower, whichever one, probably more of the hand lotion, um, but the body lotion, I think it'll make it easier for, especially my little one who really needs to put lotion on after she gets out the bath, but she forgets all the time. And I think it's because it's kind of hard for them to take that lotion bottle and squeeze it, you know, with their little hands and try to get it out. So I figured with this, with the pump, it'd make it easier for her. But another reason why I don't want to use it for the hand, lo the hand soap is because I use um foam soap because i save money that way so i've bought um i've bought um the dial hand the dial hand foam soap bottles before um you know they had the soap already in it and i've kept i've kept the bottles because you can make your own foam soap as long as you have a foam soap container um so i always kept the old dial ones that i have and if you guys want me to show you how to make that I'll, uh, you know just let me know in the comments below and i'll show you a video of how to make it but basically you can take any hand soap Put a little bit in that um, foam, um, in that foam uh, soap bottle, and then fill the rest of it with water. And then anytime the kids push, they get the foam ham, they get foam soap. So you can, you don't have to buy specifically foam soap every time. You could just collect those bottles and then make your own. And again, like if you want me to show you a video, just leave a comment about down below, and I will happily make a video for you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the soap out of this and use it to make foam soap in for the bathrooms and I'm gonna just use, use these for lotions but they are so adorable I was so happy that I found them for my daughters and for myself and then the last thing that I, I, I got I was so happy about I bought four 
one for me for my planner one for um i'm going to use it for the end of the school year teacher gift and one for a giveaway and then one just extra just in case i mess up my own because i love this thing so much i want to have an extra one for myself and it's the owl top um tote bags is yeah the tote bag the satin tote bags now this is satin it's really nice and smooth i love it and i saw um there's this one um youtuber that i watch and i watch her hauls um oh my god i forgot her name i i can't remember her name but she hauled this and she was talking about how sturdy the bag is and guys it really is this material is really really thick so it's not like the regular uh tote bags that you see at dollar tree where the the material is very flimsy and very thin and it's going to get um, all like, you know, rigid and like, you know, like looking all sloppy and, and once you have used it so many times. This has a satin finish to it, which feels nice, but it's also very thick, guys, like very, very thick. I purchased one for, my, like I said, for my planner. Um, I wanted to put all my planner essentials. I want to put my planner in this bag, all my pens, anything that has to do with my planner because... I not only plan in my craft room, but I plan in my kitchen, I plan in my bedroom, I plan at work. Um, when the kids are like doing their nap time and stuff like that, I plan during work and stuff. And so I wanted to have stuff in the bag to always, um, I wanted to have all my planner stuff in a bag so I could carry it around wherever I plan at. So I saw this and I thought it was so cute. Again, I said I'm into owls and this is just such a cute pattern, guys. They did have a feather pattern, which I took a picture and I'll show you at the end as well. Um, and, uh, but I didn't like that one, um, but some people do, so I put, I took a picture of it so you guys could see it, but I, like I uh, said, I purchased this for me for my planner, but also for the giveaway. I'm going to be having a giveaway soon, guys. I kept telling you guys that, and I am going to have a giveaway. Stay tuned. It's going to be, um, a video coming up soon, and I'm going to put all the stuff that I purchased for you guys in this, um, in this bag right here. A lot of you guys, uh, with the Dollar Tree hauls, there's stuff that I show that you guys wish that you had, but you can't find it. So I'm going to put it in this bag so that you guys can have it yourself. And it's going to be my first giveaway for you guys. So um, I hope you're excited about that because I'm really excited and I love this bag. So I wanted to share it with you guys for the ones that can't find it. So that is it for my Dollar Tree haul, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell because something's going on where even though some of you guys are subscribed to me and they're not getting you the notifications on all the videos that I have been posting. And there's a lot of videos that I have been posting lately. A lot of mommy videos, a lot of organization videos, a lot of saving tips videos that I know you guys would enjoy. So don't forget to hit that bell. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.